Hello again, this is Michael Lectures on Efficiency. So we're going to look at some light bulbs here, although really what we're going to be using efficiency for in our calculations is with mechanical energy. But because people are familiar with these kind of like efficient versus inefficient light bulbs, that's where we're going to talk about it. As always, you need three or more bullet points worth of notes, so one to two sentence summary and your follow-up questions on Google Forms. Okay, so what does efficiency mean? Well, in general everyday language, efficiency means more bang for your buck. That means if it's a car, you're going to get more miles per gallon. If it's a light bulb, you're going to get more light um, or a longer amount of light for the same cost. Uh, so if you look at annual cost to operate, uh, it costs less money to operate this one at the same brightness and get the same amount of light from it. So that means our official definition is really kind of output to input. Uh, in physics, it's going to be the ratio of useful energy output, uh, in light bulb's case, that would be light, uh, versus the total input of energy. So the total input would be the amount of electricity that went in, uh, and the output would be the amount of light that came out. Now, if it was 100% efficient, then that would mean that for every one dollar of energy you put in in terms of electricity you'd get one dollar of light coming out in reality though uh, this type of light bulb the incandescent light bulb is probably only about five percent efficient meaning for every dollar of electricity you put in you get five cents of light coming out and the rest comes out as heat uh, these are significantly more efficient and leds even more efficient in that sense so the official definition, like I said, is useful energy output to total energy input. You could also write that as useful energy out to total energy input, or you could write it as a ratio useful energy output to total energy input. Now, most of the time we like to do these as uh, percentages. So even though you might do a useful output divided by total input, you'd need to multiply by 100 to convert it into a percentage, which leads us to our equation. So efficiency, output, divided by input, where we have useful output, so whatever it is you're finding useful, it could change, um, divided by the total amount of input of that kind of topic or idea, um, in this case usually energy, although you could use it for other things. And then if you want to convert it into percentage, you just multiply by 100%. So if this comes out to, let's say, one um, unit of output for every two units of input, that would be 0.5, and by multiplying by 100%, you'd get it's 50%. Just adds up, if you ever get over 100%, you probably flip these two things, and you should try redividing it in a different way. That's it for this one. Three more bullet points worth of notes, so one to two sentence summary, and do your follow-up questions on Google Forms.